Hi everyone, welcome back. I'm Di and today I am sharing with you all of the fragrances I have warmed in my home over the last week. I am an independent Scentsy consultant, so some of the things you'll hear me talk about today can be found on my website which is linked down in the description box below. So I got through quite a few different things. I did upgrade to my bigger container, um, but I will tell you that as of today for the next week or so, we are back in the mid 90s to mid hundreds. Um, so I won't have as many warmers going again, just to can save energy while the air cooler is running and things like that. I think after the next week and a half or so, we are going back down to the 80s. So then I will start using a secondary warmer out here in the open concept area at least um, again. So I may not have as much next week, but for this week I was able to do quite a bit of melting. So I think this is in some kind of order, but I think I'm just gonna go ahead and pull and I'll let you know as we go. So. First thing here, I am still working through my Pink Zebra Sprinkles. Um, this is from my order of their fall winter catalog. And this um, is Sweater Weather. So this is Pine Needles, Vanilla Balsam, and Soft Amber. I did this one in the Master Bath. And this one has that pine fragrance that I don't care for. It's the, if you're familiar with the Black Forest Pine um, bar from Scentsy, it's that pine note. It's that very like sharp pine note that I just really don't enjoy. This has that in it. It's not as strong in this blend. Um, but yeah, I don't think this is going to be a repurchase for me. Next in here, I have Berry and Bright. This is Juicy Pomegranate, Red Currant, and Berry Musk. This one we enjoyed. It's got that really tart uh, pomegranate, like fruity berry type fragrance that I really enjoy. But the musk is almost a little too much for me. It almost makes this not as fruity I guess um, we still really enjoyed it my daughter enjoyed this one too we're still debating whether or not we're gonna get any more of this I think the last time we talked we decided that this wasn't gonna be one that we absolutely needed a carton of but I think I'll check with her again but yeah that was more enjoyable for me than the sweater weather <laughs> Next one I have here is one that I forgot to talk to you about last week. So this is actually Farmhouse Cider from Pink Zebra. This is Tart Apple, Warm Spice Cider, and Cinnamon. I did this in both warmers um, a week ago in the open concept area, and I really, really enjoy this one. It's got that apple, it's got the spice from the cider, but it's not overwhelming to where it's like super spicy with a side of apple. It's like equal parts apple and spice, and you've got that little bit of cinnamon. I really enjoy this one. I always try to look for an apple cider fragrance in the fall time. That's like my go-to fragrance for fall. And I can't ever like find one that is just apple cider. I can find a lot of like apple and spices but there's usually like pumpkin in it i know sensi's spi um, cider fragrances have pumpkin in it um, and it's a lot spicy and it's just not for me i've tried yankee candles like spooky spider cider and that one to me almost smells like cookies and not cider so yeah i really enjoyed this i'll definitely be getting a carton of that one I finished the daylight of Christmas stroll in my lantern in my room. This one was light. Throughout the burn it was light. It is like a spicy pine, but it's light. It did self-extinguish and it burned a lot better than the ice citrus that I had. Um, but I don't think I'll be getting any more of this one for the winter season. Um, but it was okay. Christmas Stroll from Kringle Candle. 
Next up, I have a combo, and let me find the other one that I melted this with. So, I talked to you before about my friend Melted Michelle. She is doing a series on her channel every Saturday called Melted Mixology, where she's going through the 10 new fragrances in the Scentsy catalog for the fall winter season and offering up some mixes for us to try. And then towards the end of her like series, I guess you would call it, um, we're gonna do some voting as to which fragrance combo we thought was the best of the ones that she has offered us. So last week, yeah, last week. So last week, Saturday, not this past. So the like 17th, I think, um, she did Blackberry Spice. Blackberry Spice is exactly what it's named. It's Spicy Blackberry. Very, very heavy on the spices. With just a touch of blackberry for me. Um, I didn't particularly care for this one. Uh, I did finish off the clam. I only had half a cube left. So I was only able to try one of the mixes that she offered. And I don't enjoy this bar enough to repurchase. So I thought, you know what? At least let me try one of the mixes and see what I think. If it might change my mind. And I tried it with the other half of a cube I had left of eucalyptus wreath. Now eucalyptus wreath, I absolutely love. This is one that went into my club at the end of the last fall winter season. I have taken it out because it is currently available. And this is like a sweet eucalyptus fragrance. I absolutely love this one. And so I thought, you know, I should see if a fragrance that I absolutely love will pair well with a fragrance that I don't enjoy and I will have to say that I didn't enjoy this one as much as this by itself because I could still smell a lot of this. It did pare it down quite a bit the blackberry spice but it didn't bring out the like blackberry fragrance. I still got a lot of spice with the eucalyptus wreath. And so I think if I had gotten more blackberry out of this it would have been better for me but that's not what happened. It's not like when I did the black currant and plum and fluffy fleece where that, um, fluffy fleece? No, clean breeze, clean breeze, um, where I just absolutely fell in love with the fragrance that I got, where it became like this really juicy berry fragrance, to which point I have ordered some more of black currant and plum, um, just to do that particular mix because I loved it so much. This didn't do it for me so I will not be repurchasing blackberry spice but eucalyptus wreath I absolutely love and it will go back into my uh, club at the end of the season next up we have a very very favorite fragrance in this household and that is pomegranate prosecco so I ended up doing this in both warmers out here in the open concept area I think I forgot to mention to you I did the blackberry spice eucalyptus wreath in my mini warmer in my smaller bathroom because I only had half a cube of each and so that is the perfect place to use half a cube of each. Um, but out here in the open concept area, pomegranate prosecco, both warmers, I did two cubes in each warmer. So I have the under my spell warmer right behind my backdrop here and I have, well that's a 25 watt tin warmer and I have a ghosty. 13 watt element warmer from pink zebra directly that way so i did use both warmers up until today um this past week so pomegranate prosecco both warmers two cubes in each warmer and it was amazing 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 so i had two cubes of this in one warmer and i had two cubes of this in the other warmer and absolutely love this this is nice and strong in my house with the four cubes and it was just an amazing amazing day so absolutely love that one the next day in the open concept area i did super tarts white christmas so this is peppermint frost cranberries coconut vanilla bean gelato orange zest and cherry this I couldn't really smell to be honest. I don't normally have an issue with super tarts in my home, but this particular one was very, very light. 
I did two cubes in the Under My Spell Warmer over here. And it's just kind of like a creamsicle type fragrance. I'm not really getting much of any of the scent notes individually. I am getting the orange zest and the vanilla bean. But I don't really get anything else. Uh, so I probably won't be repurchasing this one. But I do want to try it again to see if I get a different like take if I like say put it in my smaller bathroom or do it in the master bath or even in my bedroom so yes I'm gonna have to try this one again but I did get a nice like light orange creamsicle type fragrance when I melted that one so that wasn't bad it was just really really light that day in the ghosty I did woodland cranberry so this is farmhouse cranberry sugar citrus and sandalwood um, this one's from pink zebra And this one is pretty woody for me. Um, and it's not even like sandalwood woody. It's like a different type of wood. Um, yeah, so not going to be one that I repurchase. But I also did not get that like plastic berry note, which I normally get with berry fragrances. So that was nice. It wasn't like plastic berry wood. Um, it was just really woody with a touch of tart cranberry. Um, but not one for me, so I won't be repurchasing that. In the mini warmer in the smaller bathroom, I did a uh, Pink Zebra Aquamarine. You can see I had to put it in another bag because when I tore off the top of the bag, I accidentally separated the Ziploc from uh, the bag. So it does not zip. It is zipped. But because the zipper is pulled away from the bag, it's open. So I did double bag it. This is Aqua Waters Bright Citrus and Smooth Coconut. So this is a really nice, like, light turquoise wax. And this one was really nice. I definitely get that citrus with the coconut and the, the like, watery aquatic fragrance. I really like this one, but I don't know that it's going to be one that I need a curtain of right now. I do think that this is something that I would reach for more come springtime. Now, I am one that will reach for something like this, you know, throughout the year. But I don't foresee myself, like, using this a lot for the rest of the year. Um, if I do, it'll be, like, once or twice. I think come January, February, March it would be more of a time where I'd reach for this. And I'm not quite sure if this is like going to stick around for a while because I know in the spring summer catalog it was like their fundraising fragrance. So I think they offered for each purchase of this fragrance a day of daycare for working moms. Um, but yeah. I like it. I don't know that I need a carton right now. And I don't know if it's going to go away. So, yeah. I recently got suggested a mix um, for this one. So, I do want to try that um, before I make a decision. But, yes. I did enjoy that one. So, this is very out of order. <laughs> because on Monday, the 19th, um, it was my birthday. And on my birthday, I wanted to have a favorite fragrance going. So we dug into our stack of Yankee Candles Magical Frosted Forest. So this is one of the Wax Melt singles. This is, I believe it is an eight hour, yeah, it says up to eight hours of room filling fragrance. I did find that I got about 10 to 11 hours out of this um, because I did have it going all day and I could still smell it at the end of the day. But I also, melted a candle so I have this mini of magical frosted forest um, I had gotten this on clearance last year and you can see that I melted it because uh, the wick did move it is one of the single wick tumbler style candles I recently got a mini candle warmer like a lamp type thing but it looks more like a lantern or like a little house um, for your candle. 
It won't fit anything bigger than I would say a Bath and Body Works candle, um, but I decided to go ahead and try one of these. I wanted a candle lamp because I thought candle lamps would probably work better for me since I don't leave my warmers on all night and if it's just melting the top layer and then I can pour it off and you know go that way um, I think that's more like my type of thing so I wanted to try it the candle lamp I got from Aldi it was very inexpensive I had seen it on Nisi Loves Scents um, channel she had done a little Aldi haul and she had picked one up so I was like "Ooh, I'm gonna go pick that up because it's much more inexpensive than any of the other candle lamps I've been looking at lately and I thought just to try it would be a good option to you know invest in that first and see if I enjoy the experience and so I stuck this one in and let me tell you that it did an amazing job I am so impressed with that warmer um, this candle pretty much melted entirely by the end of the day so I did have it going on all day you can kind of see there's a little bit of a discoloration here it did melt all the way down to here so there was about this much that was left unmelted um, so I got really good fragrance throw out of this and there's still lots of fragrance in here so yes very very happy with my purchase of that candle lamp from Aldi. So if you're interested in maybe trying out a candle lamp, definitely head to your local Aldi if you have one and see if they still have it available. I think it was available in three different colors, like a dark wood, a light wood, and a white wood. Um, and I got the dark wood. So yes, really, really happy with that. I decided to do some Rose Girls. So this is Holiday Sparkle Spruce Apple Cranberries and Cinnamon. I have had this one for about a month. When I had ordered this, I gotten it right before I left on my trip for Hawaii. And I never shared that haul with you because practically everything I bought is no longer available. Um, plus it was like two weeks after I had gotten it so by the time I would have filmed that it would have been like three weeks and it would have been a month since the sale so I thought there's no point I don't know so I just didn't do it uh, but I picked this one up in the last uh, ready to ship restock she had and this is really really nice we really like this it is pretty heavy on the spruce um, but you can still smell the apple, the cranberry, and the cinnamon. And I really, really enjoyed that. I did this one in the Ghosty Warmer. Um, and to be honest, I think for me, Rose Girls Wax needs a hot warmer. Um, I typically don't get good performance unless it is like a 25 watt warmer or on a tea light. So, yeah. It melted completely. I had no issues with the melting. It was the release of the fragrance that was the problem. So it was really, really light. Um, but I did just leave it on all day. In the Under My Spell Warmer here, I had going a mix. So I was watching Ashley Overly's channel, I believe. And she had done a like fall wax collection video, what she has in her fall wax collection. And one of the fragrances that she had talked about was called Aloha Pineapple Pumpkin, I believe. And it's by Better Homes and Gardens. It is not available right now. I did look. Um, and so I thought, you know what, let me look to see if I can find some scent notes on it. So I found them and I thought, you know, what, let me try to put together a mix. So I started off with Berry Perry Pumpkin. This is from the Bring Back My Bar in June. I do not like this fragrance. Oh. No, 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 no. I don't know what this smells like to me. Um, I definitely get a pumpkin, but there's something else. And I don't know if it's the pear note that I just don't like. But, yes. So, I thought, you know, since I'm doing a mix with a lot of other fragrances, this one should work. Um, so, I tried this one. It's got, like, pumpkin, pear. So, yes. Very, very pumpkin. I did one cube of that. And then obviously, Aloha Pineapple Pumpkin. You need some pineapple. Pineapple Pucker, my absolute favorite. It is in my club in multiples. 
this is just a fresh pineapple fragrance i like i said used to work in a soap and candle making factory um, that had a retail store and then people could come in and see us making soaps and candles and this definitely smells like that pineapple fragrance oil that we used to use there so this is very reminiscent to me absolutely love that one so that took care of the pineapple and the pumpkin and the pear so then i needed an apple the scent notes on this particular bar had apples so i went ahead and used the last of my johnny apple seed which is macintosh apple and pear again you can see it was very juicy i do really enjoy this apple fragrance um, but I use the rest of it so I do have more on the way uh, because I do feel like this is going to be a staple mixer for me come the next few months and I did get a brick so yes I had one of each of these going in the warmer and let me tell you that pretty much all I could smell was this with a heavy emphasis on this so it's very peri pumpkin with just a little bit of pineapple pucker. So I was like, oh my gosh, what's going on? <laughs> I have all of this in the warmer. Why am I only smelling this? And Johnny Appleseed is usually a pretty strong one. But I was like, okay, you know, I need something else. That very peri pumpkin is coming out strong. So what I decided to do is go ahead and throw in a little bit of spice. So I decided to pull out my bar of cinnamon vanilla. This is cinnamon baking spice and vanilla. And so I thought that will add a little bit more spice. And so I had all three of these going. So one cube of each in the warmer and it was okay. Um, that very peri pumpkin and it came out like a beast and I don't enjoy it so I'm gonna need something different so I think the next time I try this combo what I'll probably do is not use the cinnamon vanilla unless I have to add some spice but I'll definitely be doing Johnny Appleseed and pineapple pucker and then maybe farm stand pumpkin um, maybe that one will work because I do have that one and see, I have no idea what the Aloha Pineapple Pumpkin smells like, but I thought, you know what? I am one that enjoys mixing my pineapple fragrance with like a Christmas tree type fragrance or really anything. I just really enjoy the pineapple. So yeah, I thought it was worth a try. So I'll definitely be trying um, to see if I can mix a pumpkin and a pineapple together and see if I enjoy it. But very peri pumpkin no 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 it's not one for me um yeah i just get a really weird scent note off of it and i don't don't enjoy that so then in the open concept i tried roll the dice which i got the really nice holographic uh bar this i don't know what the exact scent notes are but it's from the nightmare before christmas collection what I don't get is a note that a lot of people get, thankfully. Um, but what I do get out of this bar is cheap men's cologne. Really, really strong cheap men's cologne. So I had this going two cubes over here and two cubes over here. So that day I just did roll the dice um, and it was super strong, super strong. I ended up getting a headache towards the end of the day. This was on Thursday. Uh, and Thursday, we had our manga club meeting that night. So I knew that, you know, I would not be having it on the entire day. Um, and I would be out of the house during the evening. So I thought, you know, I should might as well try this. Because on cold, what I get is cheap man's cologne. And it doesn't change on warm for me. It just gets a lot stronger. Um... So, yes, I did not enjoy this one, um, but I'm glad that I don't get the note that other people get on this. So because this was so strong, I ended up taking the leftover Rose Girls from the, uh, the day, a couple days before. I still had it in the silicone cup, and um, 
I popped it in to the two cubes that I had in the under my spell warmer back here and that really helped it um, for me it toned down the cheap cologne smell for this quite a bit um, so yeah I have four cubes left. I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do with this. Um, but super, super strong for me. But it's cheap man's cologne. So, yeah. Don't like it. I do really enjoy this case, though. It is gorgeous. So, I'm glad that I got this one in this case because now I don't have to get any more. <laughs> Definitely not a repurchase for me. Yesterday, um... In the open concept area, we did Berry Blessed. Again, two cubes in each warmer. Really, really love this one. It is a nice, juicy berry fragrance. It's very similar to Pomegranate Prosecco for me. And so, yes, it is slightly different, but it's similar. I do really enjoy this one, though. And yes, definitely a repurchase and probably will be clubbed at the end of the season. In the master bath, we have going right now the new Harry Potter Wizarding World bar. This is a gorgeous burgundy wax. For me, this smells familiar. It does have a slight men's cologne note, but it's not like cheap men's cologne. But it's still men's cologne. I don't know what this smells like to me, but I know I've smelled it before. It's a familiar fragrance to me. But I don't know what it is, and it bugs me. I have two cubes going in the Master Wrath in the Cinderella Mini Warmer, and it is doing a really good job. Um, when I went in there today, it was leaking out into the master bedroom, and so it's pretty strong. Um, it's not unpleasant. I wouldn't say that I like it. It's okay. I don't think that I will be purchasing any more of this. But I cannot put my finger on what this smells like, and it's bugging me. It is bugging me. I know I've smelled it before. I just don't know what it is. And yeah, I'm not getting an overly woody fragrance, which is good. Because I was really scared that that's what I was going to get. Um, but yeah. It's okay. But I don't think I'm going to be getting any more. I do enjoy that label, though. <sighs> okay. So... We have going right now in the smaller bathroom, uh, Season's Greetings. So I think there is only one more sprinkles that I haven't tried yet from my order. Um, but I already know, just based on Cold Sniff, that that's not going to be one that I repurchase. That is the Alpine Pine. As Aspen Pine. Um, that is Black Forest Pine. Like, straight black forest pine to me. Uh, Sensi's black forest pine, which I don't enjoy. So I'll definitely not be purchasing any more of that. And be looking to mix um, that with other things to get through it. But Season's Greetings, my daughter really enjoyed. This is Bayberry Wreath, Amber Wood, and Festive Pineapple. There we go again with the pineapple. Um, I'm not sure about this one. It is slightly spicy just slightly spicy but I do get that bayberry wreath and the pineapple and the amber wood so I'm still not sure about this one for me I know my daughter liked it but I don't know how much I like reach for this during the season yeah I would really have to be in the mood for something like this, so I don't think that we're going to get a carton of this. So as of right now, I think we're looking at three cartons. Um, Farmhouse Cider, which I talked to you about a little earlier. So that's this one. Um, 
and I can't recall the other two. <laughs> I have separated them from the rest of the box, but yeah, I think we're looking at three. So I think that's good. Um, and then the last thing that I'm melting today, I do still have two candles to talk to you about, um, is the Walt Disney World iridescent bar. So I did get my pre-order of the Cinderella Castle um, warmer, which we pre-ordered, I think, in April or May of this year. So I did go ahead and get the bundle. came with a brick of the iridescent fragrance. I do hear rumors that this brick will be available in bar form, so like your regular Scentsy bar size to um, purchase and add to club. Um, but yeah, I, we didn't know that when we pre-ordered, so I went ahead and got the bundle. This I was a little bit afraid of because of the scent notes, but I thought, you know what? If it's a unique fragrance, then okay. It's got a beautiful powdery pink wax. I love this fragrance, you guys. It is a floral kind of laundry fragrance. It is reminiscent to me of when you go and stay at a Disneyland resort. Um, there's just something about the fragrance that reminds me of any time that I've stayed at a Disneyland or Disney World resort. I've been to Disney World twice in my life. Once when I was in high school, um, we had actually gone to Florida for a flute convention. Um, for those of you who don't know, I did play flute for about 15 years of my life. It got me a college scholarship. And so, um, yeah, they held a, they have a flute convention, or they used to. I don't even know anymore because I've been out of it for a bit, but they used to hold a flute convention every year where you could go and look at the new innovative things they have for flute players to help with your technique, see all the new designs for flutes, the new metals and materials they are uh, using to create flutes. Um, and then you could purchase music and other things to help with your technique and things like that. And so I had gone one year with my mom and my flute instructor, um, we met up with her there. And we had stayed at one of the, like, I think it was the music resort, um, the more economic, like Disney resorts. Uh, and we really enjoyed it. Uh, the second time we took my daughter for her 10th birthday. And so, yes really really enjoy Walt Disney World it's very different from Disneyland which I've been to more times because as I mentioned before we used to come to the mainland and see my aunt who lives in California when I was growing up and we go to Disneyland and so I'm much more familiar with Disneyland than I am with Disney World that being said we are looking to go to Disney World in 2023 um, my uncle who came with us to Hawaii has never been and he is in his late 70s and has just been mentioning recently that he'd really like to go and so you know before he gets any older and has starts to have mobility issues we do want to take him um, but yeah long story short this does remind me of staying at a Disney World Resort and I am really really enjoying it out here in the open concept area I told you that I was down to one warmer now because we are in mid-90s today. Um, and so I only have the under my spell warmer back here. I did a full cube. So for me, like one of these cubes is like four Scentsy cubes. Like four of these bars. Um, and so I was pretty comfortable with using the whole thing but I did start with half a cube and see just because I also didn't know how well this was going to throw in my home so before I turned on the air cooler I only had half a cube going and it was pretty strong it filled up my entire open concept area once the air cooler went on it dissipated so I went ahead and added the second half of that cube 
and it's doing great right now. So, yeah, my daughter did um, chop these in half for me. And so I'm really, really enjoying this bar and I'm looking forward to having more of that um, whenever they decide to release that in the regular size bars. Like I said, I did do two, ca two more candles. Um, I actually burned this one. So this is Huntington Home Orange Blossom and Apricot. We got this one um, when we had gone to get the warmer, the candle lamp. This one for me is very apricot. Um, and I can tell you that it did not throw very well for me. I had it next to the ghosty warmer um, and the ghosty warmer wasn't on. We turned this one on. <laughs> we lit this one when we got back from the manga club meeting that night and I could barely smell it. So I think what I'm going to do is go ahead and put this under the candle lamp and see if I can get better performance. You can see that it did not uh, fool out very well. It did hit all the way around except for that one area. So yeah, what I can smell in here is a really nice apricot fragrance. I barely smell any floral at all. Um, but yeah, I'm going to have to play around with that one some more. And then I finally tried my first Homeworks candle. So I picked this one up from Marshalls. This is Golden Harvest. You can't even see that. Golden Harvest. And I didn't want to go ahead and spend, you know, regular price for a Homeworks candle when I don't know how well it would work for me. So this one is very apple-y. It is crisp apple, juicy pear, cinnamon, nutmeg, brown sugar. You can see that it mostly pulled out. I did have this one going for quite a while. Um, I do really like this fragrance. It's a really, really nice apple-y fragrance. There's not too much spice. It's nice and sweet. But the scent, the scent throw was not great on this. So again, I had lit this one one evening. Um, and I could barely smell it. So I'm going to have to try this again. But yeah, I am just slightly disappointed. I had heard from Mrs. Kong's mom that there is a batch or there have been batches of homeworks that I have had very light um, scent throw um, so maybe this is one of those but yeah I mean I had no problem with the burn um, for the most part I do enjoy the fragrance on coal but for a candle this size I expected pretty good sh like fragrance throw my house is not very big and my open concept area is not very big that's the reason why I can get away with using just one warmer most times um, when I'm not having all the fans on and everything like that but on this night I had one fan on and I barely got any throw so yeah I will probably just wait to try this one again for when I don't need to have the fans on and see if that does any better for me but this is a nice hefty candle like it's really heavy and you know I'm glad that I picked it up at at Marshall's <laughs> considering but yeah this is kind of my let's see if I like homeworks candles test um so yeah so far just okay but hoping that on second burn it'll perform a little bit better for me so that's pretty much everything I have to share with you today um as far as Sensi news goes there's quite a bit happening in the coming week before I talk to you next the catalog will lose the island days wax collection um, that will go away at the end of September. And so if you enjoyed any of those bars, definitely put them in your club before Friday. Um, we are getting a new um, warmer and wax bundle for October. Three different warmers to choose from. Three different wax bundles to choose from. Um, that's a really, really great deal. We're getting a mystery Sensi Buddy um, sale. We're getting... Two new uh, glam buddies. We're getting a new reindeer buddy, which looks super cute. 
We're getting the holiday collection, which has a lot of different holiday items that are super interesting. I'm definitely keeping my eye out on uh, for a few of those things. I'll be putting in an order in October. Um, there'll be a new scent and warmer of the month, the warm pumpkin drizzle, I believe, and the Jasper glass pumpkin warmer. I don't think I'm going to be purchasing one of those for myself. I much prefer the uh, fall fantasy warmer. You know that silver pumpkin warmer they have out right now? Um, yes. There was a rugby collection that was released this past Thursday. So I did pick up the All Blacks fragrance, um, New Zealand All Blacks. And so I'm excited to try that. I did end up putting together a bi-monthly Scentsy Club just so that I could get some of the Wild for Fall bars um, because I'm still unsure as to whether or not I want to keep it in the club. I think when I get the wax, it might smell a little different. Um, and because I don't want to purchase the other two bars that are in the three-pack collection, the only way for me to do that is to put it in Scentsy Club. So, I did make a bi-monthly Scentsy Club. I also upped my uh, NHL Fresh Ice bar because I love that one so much. So, I put that one in the club and a couple other licensed bars that I wanted to try. And so, yes, I'm looking forward to getting that sometime soon. And that, I think, is everything. Lots of great Scentsy stuff coming up. So if you're interested in holiday items like warmers and things like that, there are going to be lots of nice ones coming out. Plus the Scentsy Buddy, the Reindeer Scentsy Buddy is so cute. I may have to pick one of those up myself. Um, but yeah, let me know down in the comments below what you've melted um, during the last week, what your favorite fragrance that you melted over the last week was, or what your fail <laughs> the thing that you dislike the most that you melted this month or this week I would love to know because yeah I would find that really interesting <laughs> if nothing else you'd just like to let me know that you were here if you could leave me a frozen treat emoji down in the comments below <laughs> that would be greatly appreciated and would really help me out and that will do it for me today so I hope you're all doing great I hope you're all safe and healthy and until next time take care and smiley always bye